How's it going everybody? Wes here. I can't help myself. It's such a gorgeous day. I think I'm gonna go for a walk. Oh, that's exactly where I was going. Okay, we might have to wait a little bit on that one. Up there there's like a shrine or a temple. You can see the river, you can see across to the Quebec side. I was gonna go right up there. Somebody was having a good night. Milwaukee ice. Spend that extra 25 cents for a decent beer to each of their own. So this house was on the market. You got your street up here, and I think it sold for something like $899,000. I mean, I, I can see why. It's sort of a architect's dream. Chinatown that way, downtown this way, close to the highway, close to the bus routes. It's quite nice. I don't, I don't want to be going down these stairs. What am I doing? I think she's probably gone. I'm gonna go check it out. I don't know if I'm the only one here. See, there's the shrine I was talking about, but there's a bike here, and I'm pretty sure I saw a backpack on the railing that way. I think there's someone living back there. I don't think I'm gonna go behind it, just in case there's a crazed heroin addict. Nothing against crazed heroin addicts, I just don't want them on a Sunday afternoon. So this is the, the shrine I was talking about before. I come here, I, I pray to the gods of wine, the gods of beer, gods of love, gods of party. I think I have my parties in order. It's just gorgeous. Look at this little flower bed, fern. Oh hey, how's it going, man? Yeah, that's right. There, there used to be a statue right there. It's very peaceful. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've been coming here for years, since 2001. Well, thanks for the tour. Have a good day. You never do know who you're gonna run into in this city. I just had to quickly run back to my house and put on a good pair of running shoes. I was starting to walk around on those sandals and it was not going well for my feet. Just, and, and, and one last thing. I need my walking shades. I gotta get out of this neighborhood. So the whole reason I wanted to start this video log, I wanna document these experiences. I wanna be able to look back on this time of my life as a time where I took action and I made a lot of big choices, a lot of big decisions all at once. I would love to be able to, you know, a year or two from now, realize that these were the right choices to make. Hey buddy. You just find $10 on the ground? Nice, it's not mine. No? no? <laughs> it's your lucky day. <laughs> it's your lucky day. Ottawa is actually a very beautiful city. It, it does have its haters. If you walk around a little bit, you'll see there's a lot of beauty here. Hi, how are you? <laughs> this building is actually really cool. Brushed copper or something. Massive columns. I think I found a little secret gem back here. People through those windows just watch me walk by with the camera. Can you guys see that? The trail of an airplane up there? It's doing a serious U-turn. So while my GoPro is busy time-lapsing a, a, a time-lapse, I just wanted to make a quick interjection in that I love the city in the summertime. People are outside, walking the streets, beautiful summer vibes, gorgeous day. Ottawa in the summer, probably one of the best cities on earth. Cue the time-lapse. And we're English today. Welcome to the Supreme Court of Canada. Construction began in 1939. Little did you know it, the first cornerstone was laid by Queen Elizabeth, but at the time she wasn't even queen yet. People have noticed the chateau-esque roof. It's known for its art deco style. Ottawa has so many tourists this summer. Next, I'm going to show you our parliament buildings. Somebody call for a bus? I did about a minute clip back there. And I pointed the camera toward the security guard, almost border style security entrance they have for the parliament building. And the guy flagged me over and he actually made me delete the video. Give him some voice scouts. Maybe cadets, correct me if I'm wrong. There's fuzz everywhere. Here are Canada's parliament buildings. Pretty spectacular sight to see. Construction began in 1859 when Queen Victoria, at the time, designated Ottawa as Canada's capital city. Much to the chagrin of, I don't know, people in Quebec, probably. Canada, folks. Jeez, guys. Way to make someone feel welcome around here. This is one of my favorite parts in Ottawa. It's this beautiful lookout right behind the Parliament buildings. Royal Canadian Art Gallery. 
beautiful Quebecois style church. There's the American Embassy. There's the Canada Revenue Agency headquarters, so all your money goes there. And there's the Chateau Laureate Hotel. Interesting thing about that hotel was the guy went over to England to purchase all the original furniture that they were gonna use to you know, stock the place up. And they loaded all that furniture onto, at the time, which was the biggest ship in the world, the HMS Titanic. Guess how many pieces of furniture made it? If one person sits there, and the other person sits there, you can actually whisper and the sound travels around this little archway here. That's where they used to have all their secret meetings. Another interesting fact is, that's the library, that's the parliamentary library. That's the only original building from the whole complex because the rest of it burnt down in the late 1800s. I'm not sure whose fault it was. I'm guessing it would be pretty difficult to burn down something that's made of pure stone. And over that way is all Quebec. So as soon as you cross that bridge, you gotta speak French. I don't have a yellow ticket, but if the tour is at 420, shouldn't the ticket be green? All right, I gotta get out of here. The fuzz are buzzing. So our wildly popular Prime Minister, Sir Justin Trudeau, his office is just up there in one of these corner offices in what they call the uh, lingerie building. It has a different name, I just can never remember. It's, it sounds like lingerie. We probably won't have any luck seeing him because they got all these underground tunnels like going from parliament all the way down to these buildings. I'm sure other buildings. There's a whole network of catacombs under here that, you know, it's all off limits. <sighs> Finally in a nice peaceful environment. Have you ever been to one of those places like, and there's just cops and security everywhere and they always give you the evil eye. Even if you're just walking around, minding your own business, taking some pictures, and they just, they look at you like you're a terrorist. I just wish they didn't have to be so mean all the time. I think I found the path. Just, uh, just, just one problem. Definitely says no entry. However, doesn't stop this guy. It's kind of paradise back here. This is really nice. Oh no. Now I think I know why those stairs were out of order. Folks, sometimes life tosses you a lemon. That's the point where you have to scale around some extremely sketchy rocks around this fence. The good news is the view is beautiful. The bad news is the path is blocked. And there's no clear way around it, except by going down there and around. Which, I mean, I'm gonna have to do, right? I am no longer a criminal. Beautiful paths around here. It's gorgeous. Hey Mark. Hey Travis. What are you guys doing? Chilling, no doubt. So intimidating. Here we are at the, this is the start of the Rideau Canal. Uh, I guess in the War of 1812, they wanted to be able to protect Ottawa against the United States. They wanted to make sure that they were able to transport troops, not across land, but up the, the waterway system. So they built this massive artificial canal that starts here, and I think it goes all the way to Kingston. Now it's more of a tourist attraction. In, in the winter, it's the world's largest skating rink. Whoa, that hurt. Gotta watch out for those. So the boats come in and then they raise the water level and open the gates. They go to the next one, they raise the water level, and it keeps going up and up and up. But it's so nice out here, oh my gosh. And see what I love about it is, nothing is automatic. It's all done manually with these intricate pulley systems. People have to turn these cranks, and which uh, you know drives the chains, and then that's what opens up the gates. You can actually see there's, uh, there's boats. How long does it take to fill up? Um, as you can see, it's pretty quick. So yeah. Around five, 10 minutes. Can you just tell me how only two boats? Maybe it's going to be a little bit faster. It's, it's all the way up now. Yeah, it's actually quick. Is that going to open the gate? <laughs> Yeah, 
that they really don't like you going up to the edge. They've yelled at like five people so far, including me. We are, we've reached the top. Oh, it's floating. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love this part of the city. It almost feels like England, like this is where Jack the Ripper would have hung out. Look at this, looks like a dungeon. You guys hear that bagpipe music? I'm trying to figure out where it's coming from. This whole place is like an echo chamber. I think it might be up here. I think we're warm. I don't know why I stopped playing. And there's the war memorial. It's pretty scary. We find ourselves back on Spark Street. Hold your horses, buddy. People need to hold their horses in this town. My batteries are dead. So my GoPro ran out of batteries in the grocery store, but that's okay. I was pretty much done for the day anyways. I'm gonna sign off for today. Thanks a lot for joining me on the walk. Catch you guys next time. Love ya. So I was just walking by and I saw that my roommate's car here, it, uh, it has his lights on. I figured I might as well check the door. Of course it's open. I just, I can't figure out how to actually turn off the lights. Oh, it's probably here. Yeah, they're off. You're all good, Charles. This is me signing off for the day. Goodbye, have a good night.